I don't know if, oh, if you could stand, he says. Um, I just see a new beginning for you guys, a new journey, a new road. I don't, uh, maybe you guys know what that means, but that's what I'm hearing from the Lord. So I just pray that um, God will just hold your hand and you guys will just, Holy Spirit will just really surround you and protect you over that. Praise you, Lord. <laughs> I lost your name because huh? no, not Faith. The pink, pink. I know, Amanda. I lost her name in the realm. I lost it because I'm in another realm. And what I'm seeing, Amanda, if you will stand, uh, stand. Because the Lord wants you to, as you have been standing and standing and crying out for deliverance. He says, "Daughter, you are a songbird, like in the midnight season, and you are breaking through to a whole other dimension." As you continue to hold on my, on my hand, He says, "I am delivering you from that dark." darkness that would try to pursue you and overtake you. But he says, greater am I in you than he that is in the world. And I am greater in you that you are an overcomer. And you are going to bust out and bust free. And you are going to begin to sing the song of deliverance. But you are going to bring many others out of great darkness, says the Lord. Because there's a there's an anointing on your song and there's an anointing in your walk. And when you stand, that is victory, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lloyd. Um, and I got a word for the body, first of all. Second Samuel, the fifth chapter, we have um, the people of God and the enemy, the Jebusites. They're, they're like the Democrats and the Republicans. They're calling each other names. And um, the Jebusites are telling David, you'll never take this city. The blind could keep you out of this city. The lame could keep you out of this city. And David says, David says to his men, he says, you know what? You need to get up through the gutter. And everybody that goes up through the gutter and takes this city, I'll make a captain. And he will uh, have victory. And so here's the word to you, church. Some of you are sitting in the gutter you're not realizing that that's the the mode that you have to get to victory. Amen. So don't sit there and feel sorry for yourself. Keep on going on to get the victory because reward is just, you know, right up the path there a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot of garbage in the gutter, but so what? Use the gutter. Use the bad times. Use the mess that you're in to get to the top and get the victory. Everybody said amen. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> I come down here where I can look people in the eyeball. Uh, Bradley's. I saw, when I looked at you over here, I saw the number 10 above your head. <clears throat> so, you know, I'm not telling you you're going to live another 10 minutes. That's not... <laughs> So but this is what the Lord reminded me to tell you. When I saw that 10, this is what he said. Your ministry has been 10 times more effective than you ever thought it was. And that for 10 generations, they're going to feel the impact uh, of what you have become and what mantle you've taken. And 10 people from your family, family are going to lift up that uh, mantle that you have have had and they're going to take it and God's going to use them and uh, this gets a little weird but that's all right I've had a weird reputation anyway so in the t next 10 months there are 10 promises that God has made you that are going to come to pass because God's going to prove himself to you and your family and you're going to rejoice in what he's given to you and proven to you amen when I was standing up there, I saw the word restoration, and I believe when it says in Joel, I'm going to restore to you the years that the canker worm has eaten. I'm going to restore the joy of your salvation. And this is what I believe the Lord told me to tell you. Whether you like it or not, he, he's going to bring people around you that are going to uh, uh, circle you and add to your life and comfort you and to what, what I derive from that is this, you're kind of an independent person, you can make it by yourself, 
And boy, you got a lot of help coming. So when it comes, don't resist it. Just embrace it because God's going to use it. Hallelujah. So there's this couple right down there on the end. I'm coming to get you. <laughs> this couple, they don't know yet. <laughs> so um, when I was standing up there, this is what I saw. I saw your life like a, a, a jigsaw puzzle. And it was all being put together. And uh, some spots are, are really good and they're secure and they're there. But there's some pieces missing. And this is what the Lord told me to tell you. That within the next uh, 12 to 15 months, the missing pieces are going to fall into place. And you're going to have an enjoyment of life and experience that you've never had before because everything's going to fall into place. The enemy has resisted you getting those pieces. And you've kind of said, you know, I can make it without that. And you can. But God, because he loves you, is going to bless you. And he's going to, those pieces are going to fall into place. And wow, you know, I mean, call me from Fiji or Hawaii or wherever you're at having a good time because you're going to be blessed when that comes together. Hallelujah.